Hi, my name is Jim, and today I'm going to show you how to do a drawing of a unicorn uh, with a little step-by-step -step tutorial. So just grab some paper, some pencils, markers, whatever you have around, and we'll get started in a minute. Uh, this video um, is dedicated to my niece Molly, who uh, requested that I do a nice unicorn drawing for you today. I'm going to start off with a pencil, and I want you to draw really lightly. We're going to do some shapes to lay out where our unicorn is going to be. Um, and then we're going to erase these lines, some of these lines that we don't need. So just make sure you press really lightly. Uh, I'm going to make mine a little darker so you can see it. Uh, but just if you follow along with the light pencil lines, we'll be able to erase anything that you don't like. So we're going to start right around in the middle here. And I'm going to start with a kind of a hot dog shape. Something sort of like that. Okay, that's going to be the body of the unicorn. And then up here, a little bit higher up, we're going to put, to the, to the left a little here, we're going to put a circle where the head of the unicorn is going to be. And you can kind of visualize where it's going to connect uh, to the body here. And I'm going to put another smaller circle right here where the horse's nose will be, where the unicorn's nose will be. So we can connect these lines now so we get a better idea. If I connect this line down to this hot dog shape, and then I connect this line, and it's okay if they don't line up exactly. You could just kind of make them connect here. Connect this line and this line, and you'll start to see it's starting to look like something. Okay, and what we could even do is start putting some ears in. I'm going to put this line straight up bring it over for the ear. And I'm going to have another ear of this way. And then right here in front of that ear, we'll put the horn so we have an idea of where this unicorn's horn is going to be. Get a little circle and a line on the horn. And we won't get crazy with details yet because we've got to draw the rest of this unicorn. Okay, so here's the back. And then down here I'm going to put the legs. So again with the legs, I'm going to do some shapes. I'm going to start off with this top of the leg. It's kind of um, it's a triangle shape we have. And then I do a little circle for where the knee is. And then do another long, these are like long triangles. So see how there's a leg there? It's a nice long unicorn leg. And the back leg is a little different. Back leg, we have a little a circle here like that for where the back leg will be. And the knee goes backwards. You go back like that um, with a kind of a backwards uh, facing triangle. And I put a circle there. That's going to be where the knee is. You can try to line up these, see how these line up a little bit, These the legs and the knees. And then I'm going to bring this down another triangle shape. Okay, now we're really starting to look like a horse here. So I'm going to bring the back around behind the leg. And if you if it's really looking too skinny, you could you could add some more lines. This is where we make our adjustments and we can always erase. That's what that's the beauty of the eraser. So I want to put uh, a second pair of legs behind the unicorn. I'm going to bring the chest out a little bit here and put another, show a little bit of a leg coming down, another like a half a circle, and then another part of the bottom part of the leg is like that. And then over here, we're going to show a little bit of the back leg and a circle, and then it comes down, it's triangle shape. So that's the back leg, and there's the front. Okay, so now next we got to do, um, we're going to give this unicorn a face. For the face, we're going to get put an eye right here somewhere in the middle of the circle. I'm going to put, it's a, again, almost a triangle shape right there. And put it on this end of the triangle, I'm going to put a circle. That's where the unicorn's eye will be. And you can put a little, fill that in a little bit like that. If you want to give the unicorn some eyelashes, you could do that. Okay. 
and now I'll kind of trace the top of the head and I'm going to put a nostril. So that's kind of like a shape sort of like this. It's kind of like a comma. Bring that down. And this is the top. You could do a little smile and the bottom like that. It's coming along. So next we'll give this unicorn a mane. Okay, so I'm just going to draw the ears a little bit better. And I'm going to have this mane come, it's going to come down this way a little bit. Maybe we'll do a little curl on the one side of the horn. And it's going to come up over here and around like that, do a little curl. And then on the back, you'll see it come behind the ears. And you could do a little one or two, do a few of these little parts in the mane. It's going to come down over the neck. have the, hair, the long hair coming down like that. Or however you want to do it. If you want it to look longer than that, it's up to you. I'm going to put lines in the ears. Okay, this ear goes down to the mane like that. And I'll put some lines in the horn of the unicorn like that. Do a little jaw line here. Okay, and it's coming along. So this will be any of these lines that we see in here, we're going to erase those and we're going to trace over the lines that we want to keep. And the last part is we'll draw the tail, the last part of our drawing, the tail on the unicorn. We're going to come, bring it out here from the back, do a little curve, a couple more curves. You make this as, go as long as you want. Make this tail go as long as you want it to go. I'm going to go wild with it. So that's our rough layout of the unicorn. And again, if you need to adjust anything, now's the time to go and if you want to adjust any lines. Oh, we'll give the unicorn some hooves. Okay, and so that's our rough pencil drawing. And so now you can go over all the lines that you want to keep. You can use a marker or whatever you're working with if you're using crayons. And now you're going to go over all the lines that you'd like to keep. So I'll start up here with the horn. And I'm going to trace all the good lines. Do these little lines in the horn. Okay, bring this down. Trace the head. Trace the mane and the eye. Everything that you want to keep, anything, any lines you don't like, don't trace them. this side. Sometimes you lose track of the lines. Um, so just try to figure out which ones are the keepers. Go along here. All right, so this, remember this leg, this one is behind that one. So I'm going to draw the leg in front. Sort of like that. Put a little hoof on there. Draw the leg in the back. And the back leg is, it looks like it's up a little higher. It looks, it's because it's behind the front leg, showing it behind it. And bring this over to that back leg. Bring this down. Okay. And these should line up pretty close, the legs here. You got the hoof. You can see a little bit of that back leg like that. And the hoof. All right, and that should connect right there. And then I'm gonna draw the tail. If 
you change your mind about any lines, you just go and draw the lines you want to keep. And you can put some little lines in the hair. So you want to make it look like hair coming down in the mane. Make sure you got all the lines that you like. And then once you have all the lines that you like, you can take an eraser. I have this big white eraser here. And make sure everything's dry. And you go along and erase all those pencil lines. This is why you had to draw really lightly so they just go away nice and easily. Looks like my marker's still a little wet. Now you have the start of a unicorn and you can go and you want to add anything to the background. You could color the unicorn in, maybe do a rainbow in the mane or the tail or um, put some grass in the ground. Whatever you want to do with the rest of this unicorn, it's up to you. I hope you enjoyed drawing this unicorn. Don't forget to tag me or share your artwork with me. I'd love to see what you come up with. Have a good day.